My name is Asha Tuli. I am a fourth year dental student. Jamel Page, I studied at the School of Physical Therapy and graduated in 2006. I'm Jason Page and I graduated from the School of Dentistry and I graduated in 2006. I am from Tanzania originally. I moved to the U.S. about eight years ago now. So I work in home health setting and so I go to patients' homes. I work as an associate at a dental office right here in Richmond. I received the Dr. Francis Foster Scholarship twice, and it has helped me relieve financial burden um, and has helped me focus on school. Lighten some of the loads. School is stressful enough. <laughs> so if that's something that we can take off of their plate, I would like to do that. But then also, it may put them in the mindset that the scholarship helped me as a student, so let me make sure that I give back when I have the opportunity in my career. I wanted to be a dentist because um, growing up, and even now, honestly, a lot of my family members, and I guess just people in my community, um, consider dentistry to be a privilege. Um, so I guess I was able to go to the dentist when I was younger. My dad was able to take me, and I had a lot of dental problems. So I wanted to kind of be a dentist so I can show people that it's not a privilege, it's something that is important to your overall health. Um, so I, I want to be that person to kind of bridge that gap and just, I guess, improve access to dental care. What we have seen is just how passionate the students are. You know, I'm like, this is just one thing that kind of helped them kind of on their road, but they're just excited, you know, and anything to kind of keep that excitement you know, for the profession or for, you know, helping other people or, you know, just kind of continuing the scholarship. It's one less thing to worry about. Dental school is very busy. It's very, um, it's a big learning curve from undergrad or whatever background you come from. So um, having to not worry about those extra th thousands of dollars or however much of money that you got, no matter how small or big, definitely makes a difference. We were at a point where we felt like, like I said, it's not a grand amount, but we felt like we could do something. So that was a good feeling to feel like we were finally at a place where we could. Yep, and to do it continuously. You know, I, I think at one point I felt when I finished my obligation for the Francis Foster Endowment, I'm like, well, you know, what am I going to do now? You know, it's like they're not going to worry about me now. I and said, then, I know. right, and so. It's okay to, you know, like, okay, I did this thing and now we can switch and do this other thing, you know, and we can go back and do the other thing later, you know, but it's just nice that we, you know, found something else to kind of put that energy and, and finances to. It, it doesn't have to be the end all be all. We don't have to buy a football stadium. Like, we can just, you know, figure out what we can do and, and do that. School is very expensive and it is helpful to have any help. So I really appreciate, you know, that um, the generosity and it's definitely something that I'll remember and hopefully I'll be able to kind of give back as well.